Hey, yo, Mina. Uh, I'm recording this before dinner at Taco Bell, and I just wanted to say that uh, I spoke with my husband, and um, I just wanted to make sure that um, my videos don't come across dis disingenuous because he said to me that, you know, this is only one day. You know, imagine living half of your lifetime like this, you know, imagine he revealed to me today that there were months of his life where all they had to eat was ketchup and white bread. So they had ketchup sandwiches. And I mean, I'm like, wow, I, I really don't know. I really have no idea what it's like scraping by that sin, you know, or being homeless, you know, I really have no idea. This is not even a drop in the bucket. And, you know, I just don't want to uh, insult anyone um, or any of my friends who suffered from homelessness as well. Um, And I really, I really hope this just brings light to the programs that we need to put in place to help other people and to improve the quality of life for everybody and not just ourselves. I, I hope this video helps people more than it hurts people. Um, I don't want any more people to suffer like that. Um, especially with food, you know, no one should be hungry. So with that in mind, here's the rest of the video. Thanks guys. All right. Date number two guys. Uh, I've got my jug of water and for breakfast I found, I would have the receipts with me, but <laughs> The receipt doesn't show the price of the individual items anyway, so it's pointless to show it. Um, but I got, I only managed to find like two things at 7-Eleven for a dollar each. And I wanted to save three dollars for dinner so I could kind of have like a, a hearty meal at Taco Bell or something, you know. But um, they weren't taxed, so that's cool, I guess. So I have 14 cents extra, but that doesn't really help me very much in the long run. Um, but I got, uh, kind of sad at the selection too, two bananas for a dollar for breakfast, which I don't do very well with just bananas on my stomach. I don't know about you guys. And their brownies are on sale for a dollar instead of a dollar fifty nine. So that's my breakfast. <laughs> Got my water. Let's chug. Because if we were homeless we probably just walked to seven eleven so we probably need to rehydrate now. This is my medication so that I can digest my food. If I were homeless, I would not be able to afford that medication. Um, okay, let's start off with a banana. Banana. One of my good friends uh, was homeless for a, a time and she would tell me tips and tricks that she used as she was homeless. She kind of had a lucky position. She had like a car, she had it was a clunker, but it was it was still functional, and she was still able to go to work and back with it. And she had a kayak. So what she did was she would live on an island that was a short way off the coast um, in the bay. And she would just kayak to and from the, kayak, uh, the island, and she would park her car in uh, the... There's like a parking area 
and if you I think it's like five dollar permit per month or something for like parking for unlimited parking or something so she would do that and uh, she would cook on the island she would sleep on the island she had like a little hammock um, with a fishnet over it that she could sleep in at night <clears throat> um, as far as I know she didn't have a tent she uh, worked at an ALF that we worked at together and um, <clears throat> she was able to shower there and she was able to feed herself um, meals when she went to work Eating bananas isn't very attractive, so I think I might skip this part, guys. <laughs> I'll come back later. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Let's cleanse our palate with some water. This has to last us the whole day. I really don't know how... You have to think about how... Like, they have, if you're homeless, you have to have bus money. You have to, uh, I mean, think of the sunburn, you know, just walking from the bus stop to, you know, grocery stores all the time and stuff. Or you have to sit outside because you have nowhere to rest, you know, like not being able to rest inside AC, you know, or... You know, not being able to use a bathroom because it's like two miles away or something, you know, like, I just, I can't, I can't imagine that. I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to have to deal with that. Yeah. I literally realized after I left Walmart that I bought prison food exactly what they give you in prison except a little bit fancier cheese <laughs> so I mean <sighs> oh I just feel bad for anybody who has to live like this you know not to mention you probably feel miserable eating cheap food all the time Like, my body's probably not going to be able to digest this very well, you know? Especially, you know, like, if you were walking for two miles or something and, like, you're really hungry, you haven't eaten since, like, six o'clock the day before. And don't forget to spend time, you know, trying to get money somehow. Um, what my friend used to do sometimes, what uh, she would do, she would go to restaurants and she would offer to wash the employees' cars while they were working in exchange for the bags of trash at the end of the night. Just any, um, any uh, throwaway food that they didn't want or anything, she would take. Um, not from customers, but just from the kitchen, like, uh, spoils and stuff like that. Like, if, you know, the food wasn't presentable and they, you know, it's still edible, but you have to toss it out. Um, she would take stuff like that and, um, in exchange for doing, uh, washing their cars. So I thought that was pretty innovative of her to, to do that, um, She said she really loved living on the island. She would wake up um, to dolphins splashing. And um, at night, there's like this algae that glows blue uh, um, in the water around the island sometimes. So it's pretty cool. She's offered to take me out there a few times but we just haven't gotten around to it. 
Should probably hit her up and do that with her. She's no longer homeless, thankfully. <laughs> I don't feel too great. Not gonna lie. Hmm. I'll see you at lunchtime. Okay, first question. Is this stuff edible? That the red, like, it looks like plastic or something? <laughs> around the uh, it looks gross I've been taking them off um later on in life I don't really eat bologna much anymore but I used to eat it as a kid because I didn't know any better I'm gonna use two pieces of cheese Something else I also realized is that there's no refrigeration, so why would I buy uh, an entire pack of meat? And have nothing to show for it, you know, like, I mean, I guess I could keep it surrounded by some cold drinks for the night, but probably have to, I'm guessing you would probably just slam as many sandwiches as you could when you had it while you had it so you'd probably eat this for like breakfast lunch and dinner I feel bad um, but yeah this is like you know what they give you in prison one piece of bologna and one piece of processed cheese this is essentially a slightly fancier version <laughs> So technically, I spent $4.70 just on my lunch and my water for the day. Wow. You know what? I thought the cheese was going to make it taste better. If I spent an extra buck on it, but nope, not really. <laughs> I have some leftover brownie from earlier. Man. I feel very fortunate. It's like the inside of an undercooked hot dog. I was at the Social Security office one day and there was a homeless man who was struggling because uh, he, he wasn't able to get his card or his Social Security card because he didn't have an ID. And or and he couldn't get an ID because he didn't have his birth certificate and so he was just out of luck in every way like what do you do if you lose all of your paper documentation or your paper documents get wet and in the rain or something and they're destroyed and your license expired recently you know wh what do you do well that was lunch let's see what we can scope out at, from Taco Bell for dinner see you later and we're back for dinner we've got spicy potato soft taco and like a 
chipotle chicken melt. I actually miscalculated uh, Taco Bell's prices. They actually raised their price from a dollar to a dollar thirty-nine. This happened a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't remember that. Sadly, this is probably the best meal of the day, and it's really sad to think that this is the best meal of somebody's day, you know, and we really need to make more healthy food more accessible to, to people, you know, like, the thing about people in rural areas, right, like, how are they going to get to a McDonald's or something, or how are they going to get to a, a gas station to go get food, you know, or, oh god, that chipotle sauce is like acid in my mouth, chicken, cheese, and like salsa. It burns. Mm -mm. Can you try to imagine eating that with mouse sores or something? Like, or ulcers in your gums? Because, you know, you haven't had dental work done in years. Okay, here's the potato soft taco spicy potato tacos I don't like spicy I can't handle it very acidic again it just burns so bad Well, I've had enough of that. And I'm sure my butthole will notify me of the same later. My goodness. That's so, so, ah, ah. It's just, I feel like they're trying to be spicy, but it just tastes like straight up acid. Like, like I'm eating stomach acid. <laughs> it's gross. Oh, 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 okay. Wow. In conclusion. Oh, gods. I mean, uh, food banks need help. I guess that's what the bottom line is here, because I know most of the food banks in my area are only open like three days a week for about five hours that was not even a glimpse of what it's like to struggle with food so i just uh dipped my toe into what it was like to struggle with, for ten dollars and fifty cents for the day and my goodness I, I'm really sorry that anybody has to go through that kind of stuff you know I really hope this helps bring awareness to other people and to our government and to assist other people who need help